Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson today and gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth so that we may get a much better understanding of the events that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, I'm just coming to uh, review a few things that uh, we've been learning over the last couple of weeks and to uh, share with you a little bit from this magazine that when I went to the grocery store was uh, right there. And uh, it's called Women of the Bible. So I have a few pictures from this uh, magazine that I wanted to share just to kind of show how the enemy or the adversary has been working and how it has absolutely destroyed our people as well as the other nations. It's not just our people that have been destroyed. It's also been the other nations. This is all set up to keep the other nations ignorant as well. And it's just a quick review of a few things. But before I begin, I know that on um, December 10th, YouTube uh, it plans on changing some of their guidelines and things like that. So it kind of we're not sure exactly how that's going to go as far as going forward. So I set up a, um, a Patreon uh, page so that we can continue our work over there as well. As we go through the video, my uh, Instagram page will show up on one of the uh, posts or one of the pictures. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe or follow me on, on Instagram as well so that when if something does happen to the channel, you know, I can put information as to where we're going to be going from here. You know, I pray that the Most High just continues to let us continue to uh, work and, and share the Most High's uh, message. But we know eventually, you know, the truth is getting too hot and they're going to have to do something because, um, you know, there's too much truth coming out and there's too many... Uh, too many of the dots are now starting to connect where they're not just going to continue to allow us to uh, to do this. But we know ultimately the Most High is in charge. They can't do anything unless the Most High allows them to. So we'll see exactly how this is all going to play out. But we know that big things are coming. Big changes are coming. That's why this knowledge is being um, increased at such a rapid rate. And this understanding is being increased at such a rapid rate. And you can easily see how some are just wallowing away in the same um, topics. It's like they're, they're grasping for topics, grasping for relevancy, because there's nothing new. When you're only using one set of books, and that's all we've had for centuries, you can only do so much with that information. When the Most High said at the end, knowledge would be increased. The way to bring that knowledge and increase that knowledge would be to bring other information out. Information that he used the Gentiles to hide. He used the Gentiles to preserve this information. So that at the end, he could return this information to his people. I mean, it all makes so much sense now. That, you know, of course, there are some books that were given to everyone. And those were the books that we've had pretty much the vast majority of the time, from 325 AD all the way till today. We've had the 66 or 80 books. So if the Most High said that there's going to be other books released and knowledge is going to be increased, that means he would use the Gentiles to preserve our records and that they would be giving us our records back at the end. That is all part of biblical prophecy. And um, that's exactly what's going on. Now, we have a lot of brethren who are, who are not allowed or not called to go further. But if you are called to go further and study and learn this information, thank the Most High that he chose you to continue this walk and to, and to continue to get more knowledge and understanding. We can't sit around and wait for people who are not called to this walk. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here. Remember now what we talked about, what we've been talking about definitely is the seed of Cain copying pretty much 
the seed of Seth, the seed of Cain hiding himself in the world and pretty much the entire world just paying attention to the seed of Cain and just totally turning their back on the seed of the Most High, acting as if somehow they don't exist. But this is also talked about in Revelation 11, how the whole world was going to be enjoying themselves and ignoring the dead bodies that are in the street. And that's exactly what you see playing out in the society. The whole society is worried about enjoying themselves. That's all they're concerned with. You know, enjoy, enjoying themselves off of the uh, fruits of our labor. Concerning uh, enjoying themselves off of our own, our resources. And ignoring the dead bodies that are in the street. And those dead bodies will be the true seed of the Most High. The true seed that they're actually supposed to be listening to here at the end, the vast majority of the world is ignoring. So, you know, they make their seed here look glamorous. They made that seed of Cain look like it's on top. That it's, uh, you know, the, that's the area. That those are the people you need to be watching. Those are the people you need to be following because, you know, it, it, it looks like they have it all going on right now. And our dead bodies are definitely in the street and they're ignoring it and they're enjoying their lives. And we saw how in the last video, how the seed of Cain hides himself by, you know, with, through names. You know, so it's, it's, it's all starting to make sense how he hides himself using names, same names, similar names. And all the way till today, same thing. They call themselves Semitic, but the Bible refers to us as being Shemites. So these two C's, you got the Cain, you got Cain's line, and you got the Most High's line. The Shemitic side here is a branch or subfamily of the Afro-Asiatic family of languages, okay? So we got one that's European and one that will be Negro. Same thing has been going on here because Cain was uh, cursed or marked with uh, leprosy and everyone else had dark skin or the vast majority of the people. And we talked about this right here. First John four, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And these false prophets have elevated the mark of Cain to be godly. These false prophets have marked, have made that mark to be something that should be worshipped instead of something that should be loathed. That's why this entire world is upside down. That's why they teach a doctrine that the Antichrist is still going to come in the future. Not many people never realize that the Antichrist has been here the entire time. This Antichrist teaches um, a doctrine of, you know, being left, you know, being taken away in the rapture. So then, therefore, you can just continue to enjoy life because all you have to do is just say, I believe, and you'll be taken away from all the punishments that's on the world, on the earth, coming on the earth. So it's all making sense. So again, right here, Semites, Shemites, two seed lines. One on the left actually is what the biblical description of Yahweh looks like. The one on the right has nothing to do with what the Bible says. It's just a made up image. So you got your biblical image of the beast and you got the Bible's description. And if you try to bring it up, you're called a racist, you're called everything, because they don't want to deal with the facts. They never want to deal with the facts. So they just want to deal with, well, if you have a black Jesus and you're doing the same thing, you're worshiping an image. No one's worshiping an image. All we're doing is showing you how this is what the Bible describes him as and his people looking like, and this is what has been held up as the image of Christ. 
went through that image. They set up their own priest of Mahan to steal everything from us. We were robbed of our name, robbed of our language. We lost our religion, our culture, our power, everything because of the priest of Mahan. Now we're going to get into this magazine that I purchased called Women of the Bible. When they're sitting here and giving you these images, and you can see you're at the end, you're going to see how these images have destroyed society. How they've been used, that mark of Cain has been used to pretty much put the whole world to sleep. So that, just like in Revelation 11, how the vast majority of people want to enjoy their lives and ignore the dead bodies in the street. Before I read, before I go into this bit and to this uh, magazine, let me read that really quick. I think it's that important. And so I just kind of gave me that right now. So let me read that real, real quick. Revelation 11. Uh, 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And he's going to be crucified in this magazine right now, as you're going to see. And he was and that, that image that has been, you know, pushed. He's been crucified by elevating the mark of Cain to being godly. And how the most I really looked to being something that should be loathed. Something that should not be trusted. Nine. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. They see us every day. And they ignore us. They see us bringing this truth. And the other nations ignore us. They see us bringing truth that they cannot um, contend with and they ignore us just like I said they were going to do right here in nine and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves they're just ignoring everything ignoring all this truth sometimes you used to kind of think about that like, how can they ignore all these facts how can they ignore all this information most I said it would happen and look at 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall, and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. So the whole world is having a party. The whole world is ignoring our plight. The whole world is living it up at this, in these last days. Just like I said what happened in the days of Noah. 11, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood up, stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So now the Most High has sent the Holy Spirit, and she is raising us back up. The people who are taking notice are living in a terrible fear because they're realizing that their party is just about up. And the time of uh, recompense is quickly falling upon the world. 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. Those are the people that are going to be getting removed. The ones that you've been ignoring. The ones that you've been ignoring that are bringing you the truth. Those are the ones that the Most High is going to remove. This, the truth is right here in front of your face. But like I said, you're going to, the vast majority of you who this is not for, you're going to continue with your life. We're not here, Elder Ayul, myself, Sabal, anyone in this truth. We're not here for the ones that are Satan's possessions. We're only here for the ones that the Most High is calling out away from Satan. So that's why we spend our time on the ones that are being called, the ones that can hear. Those are the ones that we need to concentrate on. It's not a party where everyone is invited. 
the Israelites and the Gentiles that are called, those will be the ones that hear. And those will be the ones that come and chase after the Father in these last days. So now let's take a look at this magazine and look at how they glorify the mark of Cain and how that mark of Cain glorification has destroyed our people. You're supposed to be Adam and Eve. And of course, Satan there is the only thing that's actually with some darker skin. So I'm pretty much implying that darker skin is of Satan. Got this one right here. Let me see, let me get this one real fast. Kind of take a look at these, a couple of these as we go through. This is supposed to be Moses' sister, Miriam, in the blue. Okay? It says, Moses' sister, Miriam, led the women in a spontaneous celebration, complete with pipes, drums, and tambourines, after the parting of the Red Sea. So that's supposed to be Miriam right there. This is supposed to be Adam and Eve getting kicked out of Eden. This one right here, let me see which one is this. Things got kind of flipped. This is, uh, this is supposed to be Rebecca. Drink, my lord, she said, and quickly uh, lowered her jar upon her hand and gave him a drink. So there you go, supposed to be Rebecca. I only took a few of these picks. I didn't bring them all out here. It's supposed to be Rachel right here. Jacob fell in love with Rachel with his first sight, okay, of her at the well. So he said pretty much this is just pushing that whole, that whole uh, Mark of Cain in all these pictures and that being godly. And just like I said in, um, what is it, John, 1 John 4 and 1, the ones who deny what the Most High looks like, that's the seed of Antichrist. And that's exactly what you're seeing in full display right here. It's supposed to be Samson and Delilah right here. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous in here looking at a lot of this stuff at this point. And so many people are still stuck on all this. You know, Samson right there, and that's supposed to be Delilah. And skip on up here to Mary and Jesus. I was watching a video. Someone sent me a video from, I think it was a guy named Young Pharaoh. He actually has some pretty good information. I was going to maybe do a video on this, just um, the information all to, uh, just by itself. Was he was talking about how a uh, baby Jesus was uh, a, pretty much a Cupid. I want to say in Venus. I don't want to mess it up here. Cupid and Venus. I'll, probably, I'll just put his video in the description box. And um, it's about 30 to 40 minutes in, into the video. And how pretty much when the Catholics set up their church, they set it up with baby Jesus. So that's pretty much all you see is baby Jesus and the mother all the way through. But then when the Protestants, Martin Luther, broke away, they wanted nothing to do with the Catholic Church. So they went ahead and changed the image from baby Jesus to grown man Jesus. So pretty much like after, I want to say 1520, he said, is when you saw pretty much a, a grown man Jesus for the first time. So just showing you how... It's all about idolatry, how they can quickly just change from a baby Jesus for hundreds of years to just because you, uh, you're breaking away from the church, you just change to, uh, from baby Jesus to grown-up Jesus. So that was pretty eye-opening because I hadn't really heard about that before, but it was actually some really good information. So like I said, that was from, I think, Young, young Pharaoh, and I guess I'll go back and look at my um, history and put his link in the description box. I want to say about 30 to 40 minutes into the video, he starts talking about that. It's good information. No, but uh, right here, here you go. Of course, you got Mary and Jesus. It says, uh, when his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. If this isn't glorification of the, of the mark of Cain, I don't know what is. There you go right here. Let's find that one. You 
you know, it says, it says, I'm not Christ. He's a black man. And it gives you all those different scriptures right there to describe what he looked like. Not one scripture to substantiate this or this. So you got to believe on him as scriptures have said. Right here. And more right there. So more glorification of the mark of Cain. I mean, big time right here. Mother of mercy right here. This is a mother of mercy. The image of Mary is ubiquitous both here in the United States and in nations around the globe, particularly those with thriving Catholic communities. In the pictures that follow, we uh, present, represent just a small sample of the various settings in which the Blessed Virgin has appeared in an, an era when some question the future of Christianity. Mary is still very clearly going strong. So like I said, he talked about how uh, the Catholics pushed baby Jesus and the mother, Mary. And that's why it says right here that all of the Catholic countries push that. Protestant countries, you know, pretty much push grown man Jesus and got rid of the mother. It's all idol worship. It's all Mark of Cain worship. It's all that it is. And here you go. I'm going to tell my kids that this, the devil the Bible speaks of, they use this picture to pretty much deceive the entire world. And to believe in everything that they say. And here you go. Finally, you see some people of color for the first time. But then when you bring up this information, they call they, they always switch it. You're the racist. They're not racist for changing everything. They're not racist for writing us out of the book. They're not racist for taking away our culture and giving it to another. You're just racist if you bring it up. And you don't agree with it. They keep saying it's not about color. But look right here. You got all these people of color right here. Worshipping. A white statue. Which then just, def just destroys the homes. Messes the uh, whole structure up of everything. How does it mess it up? A people will never be free when they worship a God assigned to them and they never respect a black father and the home when they have a white father hanging on the wall. And right there is my uh, Instagram page. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's that it's right there. The big underscore Judah underscore 2019. But this is exactly what has happened to our homes. This is exactly what Cesare has done to our families and to our people. This as well. Are there any black people in the Bible? When you see this magazine and these pictures and these paintings and these illustrations and they don't show any people of color and show nothing but people with the mark of Cain as if they're the only ones in the Bible. I mean, look at our world as it is. As our world today is, it's a mix. So all of a sudden you're trying to say that in, back then it was all white people. But all of a sudden now there's a mix of people of all different colors all over the place. But before it was all just all white people. You see, you see how this works. It just destroyed our heritage, took away everything from us, made us question absolutely everything. And then when the Most High raises up men at the end, the vast majority of the world here, will not listen. When our women are trying to help the other people as well, people will not listen. When our children are trying to tell the truth, people will not listen. Goes right back to that Revelation 11. And the whole world ignoring the dead bodies in the street. This is what the Catholic Church has done to our people. Destroyed them. Made them believe 
and a, a person never existed. Made him follow a religion, a religion of the uh, Mahan order established under Cain and Satan. They took this worldwide and deceived the entire world, making them worship these uh, these statues. Pushing the mark of Cain. And now at the end, when many people are getting hip to the game, getting uh, hip to the lies, seeing through all their, all the lies of the last few hundred years, few thousand years. They trot out someone that looks like us, thinking if he tells them the same story, that we can still, we will still believe him. Well, look, he's black. He's just like, he looks just like you guys. He loves Jesus. Why don't you? These are just the last ditch efforts of a dying system, the last ditch efforts of a dying religion. They have no substance. So all they can do is entertain you. So let's go find this rapper who you know you guys like, and we'll just push Jesus with him now. Let him go to our churches and show you, look, we're all inclusive. We love, we love everybody. Yeah, you guys love everybody as long as you're making the final decisions. That's exactly what you guys have been doing the entire time. And that in that magazine, Women of the Bible, I didn't see a mix then. I didn't see you trying to bring in uh, people of color into your pictures then. But see, now that you're losing your foothold, you're losing your grip. Just like in slavery, you know, you got to find someone that looks like us who's a sellout, who's done sold out. And people who can't see through that We'll be like, well, I'm going to go to church. Man, Kanye's there. And Kanye, before, not that long ago, he talked about how he was an Israelite. Now, all of a sudden, he's a gung-ho Christian. He'll say whatever it is that he's told to say, just like the vast majority of this world. And they'll push it. And so many of our people are so asleep, they'll fall for it. They're doing all this to hide everything about us. They're doing all this to hide who we are. They're going to ignore who we are. They're going to ignore where our homeland is. They're going to ignore where they found us. They're going to ignore all the true prophecies of the Bible. They're going to ignore all the prophecies of all these other books. They're going to ignore the fact that the Most High is restoring us because they have their agenda of deception. But the truth is all over the place. The Most High made sure he's gonna let, he left it all over the place so that when we awaken, we can find it everywhere. It's just amazing to see how all of this is playing out here at the end. I'm gonna be bringing out some more information from many other books. I mean, there's so much information that's coming out. Um, it's just amazing because it's, it's very overwhelming. Once the most high opens your eyes, it's like, how, how, did I, how did I not see this before? How did I not know this? That just shows you the power of the most high and how if he doesn't want you, he'll keep you blind. And just like now that many people that we came into this truth watching are stuck. And just like the Roman times, when, when Rome was falling apart and they were uh, losing control of the narrative, losing control of their empire, what did they resort to? Games. It's like you watch the movie Gladiator. And when the, uh, the new emperor came and he was kind of losing control of the uh, empire, what did he do? He uh, sponsored games. He sponsored entertainment. That is no, that's nothing new today. Many of the people that we came into this truth with, when you're only stuck in one book, and you see all this other information and you really can't contend with it. What are you stuck doing? You're stuck now having to do resort to games and entertainment because actually teaching this new information is not an option. 
If the Most High didn't give it to you to teach, there's nothing you can do about teaching it. You can't teach it. So therefore, you are now going to be resorting to teaching things uh, over and over again, repetitiously, things that topics that have been talked about for hundreds of years, or you're going to resort to some kind of entertainment. And that just shows you the times that we are in at this point. And I thank the Most High for using myself and Elder Ayul and Sabal and many of these brothers and sisters who have been sharing information with me that we're working together to get more knowledge and understanding. Because also that's the times that we're in, the time of coming together and working together, because there's no way that we can do all of this on our own. It's an overwhelming proposition. We have, we are the kings and queens of this earth. The Most High gave us an infinite amount of knowledge. And this isn't something that just one person can do or two people can do or three people can do. It takes a nation to recuperate what's been taken from us and what's been hidden from us. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's been coming together and working together to bring this truth back to our nation as well as to the chosen Gentiles. So when it talks about, you know, have a great rising, just like in our Revelation 11, how our bodies were dead in the street, but then the Most High sent that spirit and we rose to our feet. That's that great rising that you're seeing now happening. People are rising. Our nation is rising back to its feet and the other nations are becoming very, very terrified and scared. Hence why they're talking about changing guidelines and things of that matter, because you don't see them trying to contend with the truth. You don't see them trying to prove any of this information wrong. They just try to ignore it. Just like I said, in Revelation 11, they were going to do. They're going to ignore those dead bodies until they rise completely and a whole multi makes it so they can't, they can't ignore us anymore. Then they go from being, you know, ambivalent to everything to being terrified. And that's what's, that's what the transition is going to now of being ambivalent to everything that's going on in the world to get ready to move to a, a sense of terror because they're going to realize who they've been destroying, who they've been ignoring. And our father's not going to be very happy with the actions of the vast majority of the world. All praise to the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledge it to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.